Hi everyone, it's Marley. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this cute um, pearl ombre. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but either pearl glaze or I don't know. People call it different things. Um, but I'm kind of getting into the Valentine vibe. And um, that's what I did. I saved one nail so I can show you guys um, how I did that because, you know, it turned out really, really cute, I think. I'm going to be using uh, Vino Tinto and Pearl Necklace, which is like a white um, color. Not, It's like an off-white color. Um, but I have them right here in little cupcake liners. Um, I like to do this just because my nails are long and then... Um, you know, I just have more space to work. So, um, that's what I have right now. And, uh, you know, this, this color is pretty dark. Um, like once you apply the liquid and everything, it's really dark. Uh, but because I did the pearl look thing, um, it makes it look, you know, lighter, a lot lighter than what it is. Um which I was super surprised, but um, I like it. I think it turned out really cute. Um, okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Um, so right now on this nail, um, I'm wearing Builder Gel, I think, <laughs> as a base. And I do have Peel Base uh, already. And um, I have a tutorial about Peel Base, showing you how I apply my Peel Base. So um, I will go ahead and leave that up in the cart so you can check it out um and so right now i'm gonna go ahead and dip my nail into um pearl necklace um i'm gonna be doing i don't know maybe probably four layers of it and um yep so i'm gonna do that and i will let you watch Okay, um, so I just uh, dipped my nail four times into pearl necklace. I apply activator and I'm going to let that dry completely um, so I can go ahead and um, start filing and shaping my nail before I start doing the ombre. Okay, I think this is dry. It's making a clicking sound. That's usually how you know that your activator is dry. So. I'm going to go ahead and file and shape my nail, and um, I will let you watch. Oh, I do have a filing tutorial. Um, <clears throat> I normally do the ballerina shape nails, um, so if you want to check that out, I will leave it up in the cards for you as well. Okay, um, so I think I'm good. Um, I like the shape and it looks pretty smooth. Um, I didn't really have to file that much. Um, your Adrata liquids are amazing, uh, super user friendly. They have like a perfect consistency. The application is like super smooth so you really don't have to file a whole bunch. Um, okay. So uh, let's see, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in my no wipe matte top coat. 
and this is a super easy way to do this ombre i'm going to bring in my you know tinto color actually let me just uh, kind of get rid of this uh, filing dust a little bit okay okay so um i have my no wipe mat top coat which is amazing too and then i have my vino tinto the powder color um, I'm going to be using a little brush. Um, I'm going to do a scrub ombre, but I'm going to use the gel method for that. Um, and this is, I have a, uh, I have a tutorial, I believe. Yes, I do. Um, showing you a flash cure gel method ombre. And so that's what I'm going to do today here. Um, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me get rid of all this dust first okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply one layer of my no wipe matte top coat um let's see here Oops. okay it doesn't have to be like super thick or anything um you know just enough where are you um for you to cover your entire nail okay I love these gels um, they have a really good consistency and um, once you apply them um, they really kind of stay in place like they don't flood your cuticles or anything like that which I really like There's that. Let me just make sure everything is level pretty good. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to cure this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So that is flash cure. It's not. It's not. You know, completely cure. You need about sixty seconds to completely cure that layer. So ten seconds only when you're gonna do an ombre. So now I am going to bring in my vino tinto color, and I'm gonna get my brush on there. Grab some powder tap tap just to get rid of it a little bit and then i'm gonna start just like oops scrubbing a little bit let's see in awkward position here just to make sure you don't have a lot of powder because you don't want to get powder on the tip area you know i want to keep that clean right looking white this is such a pretty color i love it make sure you get the sides very well oh my gosh looks so cute this is, this is, I would think, in my opinion, this is one of the easiest ways to do an ombre. Um, using the flash cure method. Now I'm scrubbing up here just barely, like, you know, because I want most of that color to be down here. And I want it to look like it's fading. So I'm not going to scrub too much right here. Most of it down here. Okay. 
Now let's see. Looks like I need a little bit right here. Okay. That looks pretty good, huh? I'm just blowing this part right again. <laughs> um, just in case I have like, you know, powder that kind of flew that way. Um, all right. So now I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds and I'll be back. Okay, that is cured. And um, now I am going to kind of just brush it a little bit. And I'm going to come in with my, my no wipe top coat. And I am going to apply that and cure it. And then we'll be done with that ombre. How easy was that? Okay. All right. Uh, let's put some on the tip first. Just in case. I don't want to bring any pigment from here, to, you know, towards the white. So... I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it would happen, but you never know. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. <gasps> no. No. I'm doing I'm doing the wrong thing. Wait, am I? Oh no, I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> oh my god. It's my headache, you guys. I have a migraine, okay? I'm not thinking properly right now. I am doing the right thing. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I am going to cover every little corner, free edge. Okay. All of it. If you don't seal your free edge like this, you will probably get lifting. Your gel will... It will start like chipping or just peeling off you're gonna have all kinds of problems just remember cap your free edges always um and it doesn't matter if you're using the powder or gels or whatever cap your free edges okay good you know it looks pretty that way too it looks darker than that one just because I have the pearl uh, powder on there. Oh wait, I gotta, I guess I didn't have enough gel. On the side, okay. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a moment and uh, let it just, you know, level. It's already leveled, but I'm just checking that everything is, you know, okay. All right. So remember, this one is no wipe top coat, okay? And um, I'm going to cure it for 10 seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So that is, um, I just did a flash cure on that. And now I have right here my pearl uh, powder. And um, it's so pretty. Look. This is something that I'm working on, um, like for my website. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'm still kind of testing everything, um, but you never know. I I may come out with some, you know, chrome powders and just fun stuff. Okay, um, so I'm gonna use my finger. You can use like a little, um, like a little sponge, or you can even use like a silicone tool 
to do that? Should I use a silicone tool to do that? Let's see. Let's just... You know what? I like my finger. It works faster. Okay. So I'm going to put that chrome powder on. Hang on. I need to like put some on here. So it's easier to grab. Okay. We go that's what it looks like okay so i'm gonna put it on i'm just like dabbing the powder on okay right now i just kind of wanted to stick there oh no what is that huh. okay so now i'm gonna start mm, just Kind of rubbing it, you know, in. Make sure you get the sides really well. Like, let's grab a little bit more. Put it right here by the cuticle. That looks so pretty. What do you guys think? Can you even see? <laughs> Does it look the same? I don't think so. Okay, now let me uh, put that back in there. This thing flies everywhere. So don't breathe <laughs> while you're doing that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, uh, that is fully cured. And now I am going to kind of brush off all that extra pigment. Pigment pigment <laughs> okay and then i am going to finish with my no wipe top coat okay oh my gosh that's so cute Oh my god, my belly's gonna make noises. I'm hungry. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's good. check make sure I don't have any gel on my skin or anything like that and that is good now I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds and I'll be back okay that is cured uh, and I'm done with my nose um, I'm super happy with the way that they turn out they're super super cute I love that pearl glaze you know um look it's so pretty so pretty so anyway um that's it for today um i hope you try it um it's a super easy ombre and uh really really cute and um that's it what else i think i'm done that's it so thank you guys for watching uh appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet leave some comments with any questions that you may have uh, if you like the video don't forget to give it a like that helps a lot and uh, that's it see you next time bye
Oh my god. <laughs> that was my belly. I swear I did not fart. I am just starving right now. My belly is making noises. <laughs> hurting Ouch. stupid migraines mm. that's good I love coffee leave some comments with any questions that you may have uh, give it give it a <laughs> give it a like um, you know if you if you oh my god I'm struggling <laughs>